What's up everybody? Um, in this video I just want to give you a quick tip on how I lower my nitrates in my tanks. Um, and there's there's a lot of ways to do it, but the main one I use in my tanks, and um, I recommend it to any of you who run hang on the back filters, uh, you basically take common house plants such as pothos, which I use, um, or even bamboo works great too, and you stick it in the back of your filter and they the roots take out a lot of nitrates and uh, other bad things from your water that are potentially harmful to your fish um, and and the growth is crazy like I didn't touch my uh, pothos in this tank for about a month or so and it was just uh, latched onto the filter pad and everything and I just trimmed it all the way back and it's already grown tons again um, so I'll show you this is basically how I have mine. I just stick it right in there, and the filter's all messy. I don't ever clean it, but, um, I mean, it's doing the job. Nitrates are real low, and that's pretty much all I need. But if I take it out, like, it's already latched on. I can't even pull it out. It's latched onto something. But, oh, there we go. It's up. This is, I trimmed them all the way down to the nub about a, two weeks ago. And as you can see, all that new growth is uh, just shooting off and I might actually trim them right now because it does get out of hand quick um, very prolific root grower um, the pothos and I'll just set that aside and here I have my bamboo wow that's grown a lot too all the orange stuff is a new orange and white is the new stuff and uh, yeah this stuff not I mean it's not even getting really that much light some reflects from here, but not too much. Some gets from in from the window. Not too much of that either. And you got some new leaves and stuff. And it just looks nice, um, in my opinion. I like how it looks. Like, I'll just stick that in there. But from far away, it gives the tank a nice look from beyond the viewing part. Um, and I like that. So, if you have a hob, or um, hang on the back. I really recommend this if you're having a nitrate problem, and it just balances out your tank a lot, I think. Um, if you have a planted tank, I wouldn't u use this because I'd let those your uh, plants in the tank uh, get the nitrates. But if you're mainly running fish only like I am, java fern doesn't really count, but you get the idea. Um, it really does benefit. I could do a water change every two weeks, three weeks on this tank, and there really wouldn't be that much of a problem. Mind you, I have two fish in there, but um, and a really good cleanup crew. But yeah, so there's my little quick tip. Um, I'm sure some of you might know this, but others don't. Also, Ben's Aquariums, he got me into this. Um, if you look him up on YouTube, his I think it was a 55-gallon angel grow-out tank, angel fry. He had like a ton of angels, and there was just it was so overstocked. But it's all good because he had like just literally like a whole row of plants growing he had lights down here and on top it was crazy um pothos spider plants uh anubias even growing out of water really cool and uh i'm sure that helped out a lot and that's what got me into doing it too um and um yeah now the tanks all got debris and stuff because i messed with the filter i don't do that too often um, also the female had a bunch of sand like up to here and I kind of wanted to see the tank more so I knocked it down and it seems like she's already gone back to digging so yeah um, one last thing shout out to um, fishing nerd 36 he is new on fish tank TV his name is Tom he's from New Zealand um, so if you like, he's got great, great tanks. I really love his planet tanks. Like, I'm talking just good quality stuff. My favorite thing about a planet tank is clean looking. And all tanks in general. I like cleanliness. And his tanks are super clean. He even made a video, um, his last video was maintenance on his planet tank. So I really recommend you guys check him out. Um, he has 20, 19 subs already. And he started out with like a couple days ago with zero, so he's getting up there. Great videos. Um, yeah, so go check him out if you like Planet Tanks and a good New Zealand accent. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys like the quick video. Um, not too much time to do one today, but yeah. Also, what do you guys think about a Java Fern 
specialized tank in the 36 gallon. I've been cutting the window lava up um, and I put some of that in there and I also put some of the narrow leaf I got from uh, Sin in there. So I've got three species in there and I counted all my plants and I have about 20 total. Um, this is about split between babies and adults. And so yeah, I've got a lot to, to work with. So let me know if you guys think that'd be a good idea. Adding more wood and uh, more java fern, I think it would look nice. So yeah, hope you guys like the video. Later.